Okay, so I've come back to the experiment, um, probably after one hour now. Sun is completely out, there's no clouds. It's probably about 11.30, something like that in the midday, 11.30ish. Um, the hot tub is showing 39.3. And still not cheating here, it's coming out the bottom, follow the grey pipe all the way around. Bit of a bit of a mess at the moment. Going into this here and coming back out is going into the pump. The pump's pushing it up through the coil and back out here. That's where my sensor is. And let's see what we got. Look how amazing that is. We've got 43 degrees and it's still going up. So, cut long story short, um, this works an absolute treat. So what I'm gonna use is these kind of connectors, these hose connect connectors on all my joints. So it will live at the back of the hot tub. I'll pull it out here, and then I'll have my hoses connected up, and I'll literally just click them in when I want them, and it will literally just heat my water up lovely over a couple of hours and that's the idea so on a day like this it should just sort of top up the heat and just keep it hot and I really am chuffed with this when I first started the experiment um, remember I tried it with the cold water it heated it up eight degrees and that was 10 o'clock in the morning when the sun was just about out and now remember it's not summer but it still is warm um, when I first started this second experiment, it was only at 24 degrees, but sort of within 10 minutes, it was like 25, 26, 27, 28. Before you know it, it was at 38, 39, the same as the hot tub. Well, that's pumping out. And now it's at 43.1, so it's near enough heating up the water, 4 degrees. So my thoughts would be, within 2 or 3 hours, this would be at the same temperature, 42, 43 degrees after circulating all that water. This pump is 1600 litres an hour. So every hour it circulates that amount of water, um, which is more than the hot tub itself. Um, so there you go. So every hour it will push through that water, through this coil and back in, um, and effectively turn it to 42, 43 degrees whenever the sun's out anyway. But that's my experiment. Um, I will probably carry this on once I've finished all the pipe work and I've got it set up properly with all the right connectors and I worked out where I'm gonna have it set up. So that is gonna be my next video. So stay tuned to that. It'll be really interesting to hear your comments, what you think I could do to improve it. Remember, I still need to build a framework around it with some polythene or some um, perspex on the top to act as like a little greenhouse in there so the wind can't get to it but apart from that um, it is working a treat again look it's gone up another point of a degree so 43.2 so there we go let us know your thoughts and it's always interesting to hear your comments below and I'll get back to you on those alright guys take it easy see you in the next one bye bye bye